as for uh, vaccines and shots, government shots, I went many years with forced government shots that really hurt. It slow release, um, thick liquid in your muscle it dissolves slowly after months, a couple months. And it would hurt so bad sometimes. I'd go take a hot bath and um, it would. So I, I would be fine for a little while, and it was like a piece would dissolve or something, and it would very. It, it, I don't even know how to explain it. It hurt. It, grown man crying I don't know anyway I, I hated being forced to take government shots and, and entrapment politics and will you kill Abraham if God told you to kill and the trap if you say uh, yes then to the secular jury that doesn't believe in God or hates God and say, oh, his subconscious will tell me to kill. He'll think it's God. Therefore, he loses his rights. You have to lock him up and torture him. You say, no, you're a bad Christian. I went through my shots. God understands my hatred for government shots. I think in my story of being very anti um, anti-vax yeah. in my story I believe God agrees with me and my faith but as to everyone else's faith I, I often say the story about there's two people. One's a fat kid, one's a skinny kid, right? The fat kid, God says, no, I, I don't really. My will for your life is you not to eat sweets. And I just get banana split after banana split. And to another skinny kid that uh, um, you know, and maybe he uh, is low on uh, sugar. Right. We'll have a couple of them. We need it. We need it. We need some glucose. You know, our truths um, vary on what God says about your life, how He wants you to live your life, what kind of faith He wants you to have, how you view Scripture, how the Holy Spirit interprets the Bible. I do know there's a scripture that says honor government or it's I have to research it I should have did it before I started the video but uh, good Christians uh, uh, could point out uh, you know, a verified righteous Bible that's not tampered with it's not a quick search on Google they might give you the wrong scripture but it says something about government, either you honoring it or abiding it, being, you know, being uh, under government. You want to kind of, I'm in politics, I'm going to, um, I might be the skinny kid where God says, yes, you can be mad at government. But on a whole, uh, I don't know what's out there as far as data, people getting sick side effects I am in a very limited world or my information is curtailed but ultimately uh, uh, weigh your faith what does the scripture say don't care on that, uh, that uh, fallacy of what science says because science can't talk but uh, you want to look at the scripture about governments or whatever, government or governments, there's a couple of them. And, and in, your, in your faith walk with God, what is right in the eyes of God in your faith with all the information you got, 
the Bible and everything what's right to do with the faith you have. That's why I'll tell you instead of me saying no, you know, um, uh, live a righteous faith in God and do that which your faith tells you to do. That's what I say about vaccines. 